this storm is David Phillips, senior climatologist with Environment Canada. Dave, good morning. Good to see you. So this storm is going to hit the northwestern U.S. It's going to hit Canada's west coast. Please tell us, what is an atmospheric river? Well, it's, Marcy, it's a good question. It's atmospheric river. We used to call them pineapple express or tropical punches, which tells you where the moisture is coming from. This is tropical moisture uh, coming from the Pacific, and, uh, and it sort of rides the, the weather systems like a conveyor belt. Uh, and all that moisture comes in. It's like taking a fire hose and, and sticking it at Vancouver, and you're getting huge amounts of rain. Now, why it's the river is because the, uh, the load of moisture is, is really sopping wet. I mean, it's almost equivalent to some of the discharges of major rivers in the world. For example, the St. Lawrence, the Mississippi. Well, this one has maybe five to ten times the amount of, of moisture that you would or uh, water that you would see in those or twice the amount of the, the Amazon River, which is the largest river in the in the world. So these are sopping wet situations and they come at this time of the year. And November is the wettest month uh, uh, for uh, British Columbia. And uh, and we haven't seen very many many of these. I think it was one in November. So in some ways, these can be both a good news or a bad news situation. We need the moisture. We're way down. We've uh, November, for example, is only 60 percent of the moisture we normally would get in Vancouver. So we need some rain. But the problem is if they come with very warm temperatures, then it's all rain. And that rain will fall on the ground and not percolate and soak in the rain. It's very intense. And, and what will happen is just like falling on asphalt. The rain will just run off in, in torrents. It'll cause landslides and avalanches and, and debris flows. I mean, so it's, it's not necessarily a good thing. It's good to restore the water levels in terms of what you need. But, boy, if it comes too much at one time, that's an issue. The other thing, too, Marcia, is the, is the tides are high. And so when you combine that atmospheric uh, uh, tides along with low atmospheric pressure and higher water levels, sea levels, well, it just makes there's more coastal flooding that would be possible in erosion under this kind of a, of a situation. Dave, are these atmospheric rivers connected to El Nino? Not really. The, the one that Craig mentioned, 2021, we had seven of those in, in, um, in one month. Uh, that was a, a La Nina year, not an El Nino year. Uh, so these atmospheric rivers don't always necessarily pay attention to whether it's an El Nino or La Nina. They they are very much part of the climate of that of the south uh, of the of the west coast of British Columbia and and along in in Portland and uh, and, and places along the northwest part of the United States. So it's very much part of the climate. I think in an El Nino. Marcia, they tend to be a little uh, fewer of them mm. uh, because of warmer temperatures, but less active weather. So you would normally find fewer atmospheric rivers in an El Nino year than a La Nina year. The other concern, of course, is the lack of snow. We need some snow for uh, resort areas and for skiing and for all kinds of reasons, for restoring water levels and soil moisture. And, and, and some of this rain is falling on land that was scarred by fires or, or parched by drought. And so that's why it's not just kind of a, of a percolating kind of rain. It comes down too much and too fast, and, and, uh, and that can create the kind of problems that we're probably going to see in the uh, in the Vancouver or the southwest coast of, uh, of British uh, British Columbia. The winds are not so strong. That's a good news, but it's still uh, too much rain in a short period of time is, is going to cause some flooding issues. Mm. I understand why they changed it from Pineapple Express. That makes it almost <laughs> seem kind of cute and That's more right, biting. exactly. <laughs> so correct, Marcia. Dave Phillips, thanks so much. Appreciate You're seeing so you welcome. today.